People love that Popeye, like, We've gotten like death threats and like hate mail. <laughs> we took it <laughs> off the menu. Like people yeah. freak out. People request it like even during like the summer. This is the angel biscuits that are gonna sit right on top. Right yeah, right we now. take it off the menu in the summer because it's like who who wants to sweat eating a pot pie with biscuits on top? And people like hate us for it, taking yeah. that off. Gonna hit it with a little butter to get it nice and shiny. Like when you get your chicken pot pie with the crust, you know, you don't ever have enough crust. You're, you're just eating the filling. And then the crust at the bottom is soggy. So this is like there's enough carb to filling ratio. So this is the finished product. It'll get packed up and go to a very happy customer. I'd be happy getting that. Yeah, we definitely try to tug on those heartstrings, you know, things that kind of remind you and bring you back to a moment in time. Hi, my name is Autumn Moultrie. And I'm Brian Villanueva. And we are the co-founders and bakers of Back Alley Bread. Based in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Oh, those look nice. Yeah. So, yeah, this is what we want, really nice. Slightly over golden brown, nice and roasted. This is gonna provide a nice base flavor for our stock and our future uh, chicken pot pie filling. Brian and I met at a um, pasta pop-up that I was doing for Giada De Laurentiis. Basically, I did not like Brian at all when I met. I hated Brian. I did not like him, not even a little bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you knew that? Yeah, yeah. It was kind of uh, uh, a little bit annoying. When you go film, did they have this move? And the cooks had that little kangaroo pouch of towels. <laughs> so uh, you grab something hot real quick. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So. Do you remember her locking in the door? You remember the introduction? Yeah, well, she was already prepping, like going hard at it and cranking out her prep list. And I know I walked in and I, I kind of like glanced at her. I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, and she was just looking down, like putting her head down and working hard. I was like, oh, this girl looks like she can cook. I was like, she's fine. Like, well, damn, like she could cook and she's like super pretty. I was like, I need to talk to her. Like. The, I just need to talk to her. This is my secret ingredient. Sorry, I get like, when I'm working, I have no personality. <laughs> I did not like him because it was like I was focused and he was like. Yeah. <laughs> like what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> he was, when, when, if. Like he's literally waving. Again. Yeah, he was like smiling and waving. No, no. <laughs> you know what he said? He was like. What did I say? He's like, I'm going to grow on you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Who says that? It was a weird thing to say. He's like a really serendipitous person, like the universe and like karma. And so he just, he would not like take no for an answer. He was just like, we're going to be perfect together. And I think we would make a great pair. And I was like, oh, OK, he's crazy. And um, eventually he grew on me and. Yeah. And now we've been running a bakery out of our apartment for two years, so. So this is the dough for our plate on um, a beef patty. We're calling it Hot Pockets because we grew up with Hot Pockets. This is like my one of my favorite things to eat. It's my pie dough, but I added Jamaican curry powder in it and it gives it like a nice little yellow tinge. This, this is about the size I want my butter to be. Mm. And then you throw it in a hot oven and you get like layers, flakiness, so. I think Autumn's pie dough is really untouchable. And I haven't had anything like it before and I haven't had anything like it you know, since I've had it, so. <laughs> Back alley bread is like undefinable. It really just mostly is stuff we like to eat. You know, we're more of like a, like a snack bar. We're a black market bakery. <laughs> black market bakery. We're like an eatery, but centered around bread. So this is our beef filling. There's Jamaican curry powder in there, bell pepper, scotch bonnet, scallion. On the verge of being too spicy. And the scotch bonnet 
get you at the end. <laughs> we take the techniques that we've learned in these kitchens and we apply them to casual food or casual cooking or things we used to like to eat as children. Right. We don't have a niche. We kind of do a little bit of it all, but not because we want to take over or like all that stuff. It's just we want to eat all of those things. We come from like the savory side of cooking, like we're chefs. So like chefs are gonna chef. So Ryan cannot do this at all, but he's so bad at it. Because his hands are so hot, he melts all the butter. I think food should be experimental. Like, I don't think it should be anyone's food. Like, you should be able to have, you know, like a meeting of the cultures. Like, my family's from the South, so I do like a lot of Southern things. There's a lot of Southern influence in back alley bread. Grandmothers, great aunts, all of them are big cooks. My mom is from Manila and my dad uh, was from Quezon City. Moved to Los Angeles when they're about my age now. Uh, so I'm a first generation, born in America, Filipino American. So, you know, our, our background and our cultures kind of, kind of intermingle with our menu and our, our, you know, our experiences growing up. It's all intertwining. We're playful with it. Yeah. And I think that's what speaks out to uh, people with our menu is that it's very personal. That's a nice one. Yeah. We want to be taken seriously. I mean, we worked in fine dining and it's like... And it's coming out. So these have been proofing for about an hour and they're about doubled in size. So I'm gonna drop them and I don't fry them at a high temperature. I think the the item that we have that's like the most surprisingly like fermenty, but you don't notice it is the angel donut. It's like a four day process. This is like kind of a laminated dough, but it's not really. It's more like if you laminate a biscuit. I want them to be reminiscent of eating a hot beignet. I feel like donuts should be hot. I don't like cold donuts. I have been making those biscuits for years. So I was like, what if we turn it into a donut, put honey on it maybe, and then instead of putting powdered sugar on it, let's put cinnamon sugar in it was a hit. And it's soft, it's super fluffy in the center and cinnamony and sugary and, and it stays crispy somehow. I don't know, somehow, some way it's crispy. I think it's one of the best things that I've made. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, Kirk, you do work. I'm surprised of what we've come up with. It's almost like every week we come up with something new. I'm just gonna weigh it up and uh, start getting it into a longer shape. A lot of it comes from like the 90s, growing up as a kid, like, like little snacks that you got. Like maybe my mom wasn't there, so she left me a... A honey bun. A honey bun, those little packaged honey buns, like I love those. My mom used to like leave them for me. So then I got obsessed about making honey buns. So this is cinnamon sugar, brown sugar, and butter. It's kind of like a cinnamon roll, kind of like a sticky bun, but not quite. It has uh, bee pollen, wild African honey glaze, and uh, honeycomb on top. So you definitely get your honey fix with that pastry. And then I'll spread them with a ridiculous amount of heavy cream. So they'll like almost fry on the outside, but be soft in the center. I feel like you can taste the food and tell that the person worked hard to make it. So like, even though it's just pastry, I think you can tell when you eat one of our pastries or you buy our chicken pot pie that we really thought about it. Or we we're like crying over it. And hopefully this can lead to you know, our own restaurant one day, and you know, finally make it. You can't give up. It's do or die. It's do or move back to LA, or yeah, <laughs> move or... back in with our moms. My mom would definitely love that. <laughs> she, oh yeah, you just, you just move back home, uh, you save money. I got the, just, uh, there's a recession, just, just save money. It turned out he was not that crazy. He's crazy, but not that crazy. Crazy in love. Not the crazy I thought he was. Crazy you know? in love. We've been together almost five, five years, years now. 
he was right, it was a good match. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza DeGia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.